Good evening guys, it's Neil Cook, Spirit Medium for GSI Paranormal and Vicky, GSI Paranormal 2. We're here at the Fox Inn in Gisborne. This is where our Halloween special is taking place on the 28th of this month, which is October. Don't forget guys, there's still places left. It's £50 to, to come to the event with the optional sleepover of £60 in total. Uh, if you wish to sleep over it's £60. Just going to give you a quick walk around. Downstairs the pub has got uh, people in it uh, and a lot of spirits but they're behind the bar. And this is the setup upstairs where a lot of the activity takes place. If I just show you this way, we've got the, the toilets to the hotel where we've had activity in. We've also got the hotel rooms here which go right along this corridor. And the one we want to pay attention to is this room at the end. This is room three. This is where the majority of the activity takes place in this location. So if you follow me, please. anyone who's seen our videos of the haunted uh, ghost hunt we did in here what you'll remember for the people who watched the videos we had activity over here on the connect we had a gentleman who was called uh, with the surname of Sphinx or Sphinx if I get it right his, his energy was over here a lot of the video footage you'd have seen from this room would have been myself stood here and the, the spirit energy on the Xbox Connect was just there uh, as I was connecting to him. We've also had reports uh, from the landlord and the guests who stopped in this room of certain things which have been found on this floor here. Um, there is a sinister story behind room three and it's, it's, it's one of the reasons why we first came here uh, many moons ago. A little story without giving too much away but Back in its day, this is a 300 year old hotel, right? This used to be a coaching. This used to be one of the routes from the Teesside area, the Gisborough area, the Cleveland area into North Yorkshire. So going back to the old maps, this was probably the only route in the area where the coaches used to stop off and the, the guests used to come in here, or should I say the people on the coach used to come here to stay. Uh, and we didn't travel from one town to another as quick as we do now in the car. So this would have been an overnight stop for the uh, people who would have been in the horse and cart. This way back in its day uh, there used to be a landlord here uh, and he was a very animated landlord uh, not only was he animated as a boss uh, towards his staff but he's very much animated now as as a spirit who's re residing here within this hotel um, anyone who's read the stories which have been on the news feeds and the newspapers there was a lady who was attacked in this room right um and also her daughter used to sit on the stairs which we're going to show you very shortly and wait because this lady who worked here was a housekeeper and she had to clean all the rooms which used to be in this location um, and one time or one day she was attacked in this room here and very much that incident incident replays in time just as the stone tape theory does so we not only did I get told the story of what happened in this room but the animated landlord uh, was quite was here as well and he had his own story to say as well there is a second spirit who resides here uh, he's quite animated too and on the evening when we're here doing the live uh, ghost ghost night the paranormal night which is on the 28th of this month we're actually going to go to the cemetery which is not too far away from where we are now to go and visit his grave and hopefully we'll make some connections there we'll come back here to do our paranormal event we'll then put some food on for you guys and then we're going to come up upstairs to this area first where we're going to work with the connecting with spirit me as a medium and you guys as paranormal investigators will spend some time when the location locks down and closes for the night this is where we're going to work right away through the night and like i said the option to sleep over in this haunted location and then we'll work right away through the night and anyone who's tired and wishes to stay over then you've got many rooms up there which are, are going to be there for you guys 
this room is going to remain remain free all night long and the reason being is we want you guys to come here and do some loan visuals i'm very aware of spirit who's with me here now um, and we want you guys to come here during the course of the night we'll lock you in this room and you can spend uh, whether it be 10 minutes or 20 minutes in this room doing your thing spirit works more with the ladies than it does the men in this location and i think the, the majority of ladies who are coming the ones i know who are coming are going to have some amazing experiences with spirit uh, in here tonight i'll just take you to where the stairs are then we're going to wrap up for the night guys because obviously we're in a live hotel there's people uh, in this hotel uh, who, are, who are staying so we don't want to make too much noise but if you just follow me scene it was pitch black dark uh, there was no lights on whatsoever and we had our camera equipment set up on the stairwell which is just down here this is the original stairwell from 300 years ago when the place was first built the stairs we've just walked by there would have been the stairs which originally led down into the pub and as you walked into the pub the stairs were directly in front of the store Whilst we were filming here, we had an audience just where the camera is now, our guests for the night, our friends and immediate family. We kept seeing flashes of light coming up all the way up them stairs, uh, light anomalies we couldn't explain. They looked very much similar like someone was downstairs with a kind of Polaroid flashing camera taking pictures and all of that area kept lighting up like it would with a digital camera. As we went down to investigate this, because we knew there was no one down there, that's where we caught the, the what we believe to be the image of the girl, the, the shadow figure moving through the bar. Come this way a second. Just here on the stairs is, is a grounded energy of um, the little girl Jennifer. Anyone who's read my story will know all about Jennifer. And what I'm going to do later on tonight is post that story again about this location. This little girl used to come here and play with her toys just here on the stairs whilst the mum worked in them rooms up there. And her energy still comes back and forth here in this location. So right guys, we're going to wrap up for the night because it's quite busy in this hotel and we don't want to disturb the people in the rooms. Just to let you know guys, the 28th, 27th, 28th, 27th of this month, Halloween special here in this location. This is the Fox Inn in Gisborough. It's on the outskirts of North Yorkshire and Teesside. It's £50 for the event and if you wish to sleep over in any of these rooms then it's only an extra £10 to stop over. Thanks for joining us tonight and don't forget guys, this room here is waiting for you, room free.